episodic video games may have been popularized over the last decade, but they've already left a mark on the industry. Their strength lies in their ability to keep players invested month after month, and while most games struggle with the format, a few have managed to stand out from the crowd. Let's take a look at the best episodic games of all time. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Telltale Games, rest in peace, has arguably revitalized point-and-click adventure games and popularized the episodic game format. And while The Walking Dead was Telltale's biggest success, The Wolf Among Us proved that it could do so much more. This noir fairy tale based on the Fable comic has the big bad wolf himself investigating a murder that quickly grows into something much more. With a morally complex cast, difficult choices, and a stellar world, The Wolf Among Us showed the world what Telltale was capable of. Sean? I'm scared. I'm right here. How am I supposed to take care of us out here? I know who you are and what you did. Life is Strange was very popular when it was released in 2015, but its sequel is a radical departure from what fans expected. Following two brothers on their journey across America, Life is Strange 2 tackles themes of immigration, racism, and freedom over the course of its five episodes. But at its core, it's a tale about the love between siblings and the lengths one goes to protect family. Taking over 400 days to release in full, which likely contributed to its lack of popularity in comparison to its predecessor, Life is Strange 2 is a slow burn that is well worth the journey. Kentucky Route Zero is unlike any other video game, and that statement is not made lightly. A fusion of magical realism and southern gothic in style, it's a game that uses absurdism to bite back against the poverty its protagonists find themselves in. Kentucky Route Zero is eclectic in design, pulling elements from Greek tragedies, adventure games, and Broadway, but its haunting world and characters make it a delight to experience. The first episode was released in 2013, and its final act is only just coming out. The world has changed in the intervening six and a half years, but Kentucky Route Zero remains just as poignant and wounding now as it did back then. Hi. Kill them all! War does not compute. What is it good for? Making comedy is hard, and making a video game comedy is even harder, which is why Telltale's second game on this rank it is also the developer's masterpiece. Tales from the Borderlands is consistently funny and well-written, relying on witty quips as much as it does crude humor. This is furthered by well-crafted action scenes and emotional moments that breathe life into the motley characters that make up its cast. Tales from the Borderlands is not only the best comedy in video game history, it's also low-key the best Borderlands game. You want to know what I was doing on Pandora? Your mom. My mom is dead. Oh. Episodic games are associated with adventure games, rightly or wrongly, but IO Interactive's assassination epic Hitman took the format to new heights thanks to its impeccable design and replayability. As you experiment with your playstyle, we lost them. Each hit can go from bloody murder to a genuine masterpiece of assassination. The objective is simple. As the world's greatest hitman, you must take out your targets using whatever means necessary. The monthly releases allowed players to deep dive into each of its levels to discover and play with a multitude of tools at their disposal. And there are a lot of tools to play with. With each move you make, the world reacts to it, unfolding into a chaotic mess that is as challenging as it is entertaining. For episodic games, nothing rivals the wonderfully constructed worlds that comprise Hitman.